Welcome. If you would like to learn a little bit more about me, as well as my story from a struggling math student to a high school math teacher, then my story is for you. And guess what? My story is coming up next. My story is very similar to many of you who follow me on my YouTube channel. Growing up, I was just average in math. Everything took me a little bit longer to understand, but slowly things always came together, just enough so I was able to move along with the class. Then, everything really changed in seventh grade when I entered in Algebra 1. I remember for the first time thinking, I have no idea what the teacher just said when he tried to explain a concept. Often, instructions were given to class and I was completely lost. I could not figure everything out on my own anymore. I had to start turning to my friends to help me out. It was very frustrating because I knew they were not smarter than me, but they were understanding the stuff and I was not. What was going on? What had just changed? Since I was a decent overall student, I had a reputation I wanted to keep. I was just fine in my other classes, so I could not be afford to be failing my math class. So I made a change in how I approach math. Rather than try to understand what was going on in class, I just started to focus on what I needed to know to earn credit for the assignment. Basically, I learned how to get the answer, but did not learn to understand the process used to obtain the answer, or why it worked. It was very one-dimensional thinking. Show me how to get the answer, and I'm good. It was okay for my grades, as they did improve, and I wasn't stressed out anymore. I continued into 8th grade and did just fine, or at least I thought. Then enter high school. If you've been through this, you know what's kind of coming up next. You cannot hide your understanding for very long. Eventually you are going to be exposed. It didn't take very long before I barely knew what was going on in class. I started to do poorly on a couple of tests and knew I was in trouble. I had to shift once again, and I knew the only way for me to pass my classes was to pass the test. So I focused just on that, learning only what I needed to know to pass each test. I became pretty good at it, and I was able to float my grades between B's and C's. I really did not understand much, but I was able to work hard enough to make it through high school. I had somehow made it to pre-calculus my senior year through all of my efforts and knowing really little math. All good, right? As you can imagine, I struggled. Struggled very much, and I was able to follow my system, but I was able to pass pre-calculus with a D. Yes, a D. I should probably add that a little sympathy for my math teacher helped me out as well. In another class that same year, Every senior was asked what did they want to be when they grew up. I was quick with my answer, I wanted to be a teacher. I had a great experience with my teachers growing up and I knew that was my calling. My only problem, I did not know what I should teach. Later that evening, I did a little soul searching at home and realized that out of all the subjects I learned in high school, I enjoyed math the most. I did not really understand a lot about math, but through my faking it, what I did actually know, I liked. I appreciated the simplicity and the complexity at the same time. It intrigued me. So there it was. I was going to college to study to be a math teacher. Could anything really go wrong? What do you think happened? Is your high school experience just like mine? Was it like mine? I would love to hear about many of you that can relate to the faking your way through math class. I'd love to hear about more of your stories as faking it through math class.